Oh, someone's doing construction next door. So if you hear a pounding, I apologize. Um, yikes. All right. Um, anyway, we'll continue here uh, with our Seattle Storm, who wrapped up the last of a three-game road trip uh, and began, a, well, it wasn't even a one-game homestand. They played one home game before they will go back out on a four-game road trip uh, to close out, well, not to close out the regular season, but essentially. So, the first game of the past week, August 22nd at the Chicago Co Sky, pardon me, a 79-102 to 102 loss. Tough one here. Uh, the storm just really fall apart in this one. Uh, this one was kind of rough from the get-go. Uh, it was all sky all day long, rather I should say night. Um, Drew Lloyd had a nice game. She was our player of the game. 26 points, 3 rebounds, 5 assists. Um, just overall, again, a tough one. Seattle really wasn't able to hang around in this one. And it made things tough. It made things tough. Because um, <laughs> you want to see them be competitive. You want to see them bounce back. Uh, and they just weren't able to do so. Uh, they would get another chance at the sky later on, but we'll get to that. Um, they would play the Fever next to wrap up their road trip. They would lose this one 86 to 90. So it was a close one, uh, much closer than that loss to Chicago. But it still wouldn't matter. It wouldn't be enough. Um, they would fall to the fever, uh, by four points. Again, Jewel Lloyd puts up a nice performance, um, 32 points this time, four rebounds, one assist and one steal, including 19 points in the fourth quarter. This also, this road trip sees Jewel Lloyd become the storm franchise leader for single season points. Uh, she is trying to chase the regular season record in the WNBA set by Deanna Taurasi. I'm not sure if she'll make it, but with the offensive performances that she had, she's had, I wouldn't necessarily put it out of the realm of possibility. Uh, it'll just be interesting to see how much she maybe chases that maybe pushes it. I'm, I'm not too sure. Um, then the one home game that'll separate uh, all these road games, the storm would come back to climate pledge arena and host the same sky team and lose uh, 85 to 90. This one was a tough one. The storm were actually playing pretty well for the first three quarters. They shot the ball. Well, they were at 48% shooting through those first three quarters. And then they fell on their face and they only scored 10 points in the final quarter. Um, player of the game in this one, there were a couple good examples of what I could have gone with here. Ezzy Magbagor, though, with the double-double is what we'll go with. 15 points, 14 rebounds, one assist, two steals, and one block for Ezzy in this game. Uh, as we'll go to our photo of the game here by Liz Walter. Does not include Ezzy, but this includes some other players who started off the game well. Sammy Whitcomb, 19 points, four rebounds, four assists, three steals in this one. Three steals is big. Jewel did have 19 points, six rebounds, and six assists including two steals, uh, but wasn't necessarily efficient shooting the ball. Uh, interesting one here, too. Uh, the Storm got Yvonne Turner involved in this game after really rarely getting her minutes in the second half of the season. Mercedes Russell had an excellent game off the bench, 13 points, 11 of them coming in the first quarter, setting a new career high for Mercedes. Uh, she did add three rebounds and one, two, one assist and two blocks on the game, which... Do, 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 did that lead the game? It did lead the game. Yeah, two blocks led the game. So I don't know. This one, it's tough. I mean, the Storm are now officially eliminated from playoff contention. We all saw this coming. I get it. Um, I was trying to have a hot take and think that maybe they were scrappy enough um, to find their way into a playoff spot. And, you know, give them credit. The Storm were scrappy. They A lot of their losses were tough and competitive games and this is including a bunch of games um against really good teams they pushed the liberty at just about every game that they played the liberty they haven't really pushed the aces um which sure i expect that they push connecticut uh a lot of their games they've been competitive in. there aren't that many that they've been blown out in that chicago one earlier in the episode there early in the segment that counts as one of them um but no, you know, I, I talked about it in my game recap of this game. Uh, it's been a big growing year. The Storm are going to have to make some decisions in the offseason. It all starts with Jewel Lloyd, whether she wants to come back or doesn't want to come back. Uh, but there are some definitely some pillars here uh, when you look at this roster. I mean, Jordan Horson has played well all year long as a rookie and, and done some things that only so uh, that only a few rookies have done. 
Ezzy Magbogor continues to grow and grow and grow. Uh, Mercedes Russell seems to be finding her 2021 self. So, you know, and, and you've got other important contributions from you know, the rookies and Dulce Fink and Mangiadu and Jade Melbourne. So there are some definite positives to look at uh, with this Storm roster, but obviously some frustrating things like not being able to clean up your, your rebounds and your points in the paint and just your general paint presence, and then you're turning the ball over too much. So it's definitely a growing and learning experience for Noel Quinn and the Storm team. So looking ahead, they sit at a... 10 win 25 loss record their next matchup is august 31st at the la spark so they head out on the road again this begins a four game road trip for the storm so they had a three game road trip a one game return home and then a four game road trip once again so yeah kind of bizarre kind of bizarre that game at crypto.com arena has a tip-off time of 7 p.m pacific time and then uh, the next game on that road trip this week, September 2nd at the Las Vegas Aces, 6 p.m. Pacific time. The Storm will try to make this game against Las Vegas competitive. Will they do that? I'm not entirely sure. Um, but it'll be fun to watch Drew Lloyd try and break the WNBA single season scoring uh, record uh, if she's able to do so. So that'll be something to watch for sure. <laughs> 